So this will be the briefing video for the SET1 Mathematics June holiday assignment. You have the whole June holiday to do it as a group. And here are the details. First of all, watch this video low. Then divide yourself randomly into groups of three. But of course, you will take forever to get this done. So I will be using this wheel of number to randomize your grouping. So let me just minimize it a bit. So I will spin the name, then I will add the name into the grouping one by one. So let's see. Okay, so first will be kill. Next. It will be Anik. Then we have James. Dummy. Oops, I forgot to remove him. Okay, Sam. Hey, Xiaomi. Zachary. Something. Shifa. Hi, one. Shit. 
Okay, last name of each group. Ooh. Okay, Afriana. Uh, take note, this is completely random. I am shooting this in one shot. Okay, kill. Please come down. Okay, Chen Yang. Arian. So we Finally, yes, Hadzik and yeah, Chloe will be the last one. I think it's fell like that, right? I think it's fell wrongly. Hmm. Uh, this will be your grouping. And let's go back to the instruction. So that will be your grouping. Now, each group is supposed to collect some data. You got the choice. Either you design a Google form to collect the data from your class or level, or survey and questionnaire must be done online because of uh, COVID. Or you can collect data from Singapore website. For example, you will see later on. So what are the possible topics such as favorite burger or fast food chain, number of COVID cases in the last two, three or four weeks during the June holiday? I think that will be very interesting. So this is one of the possible subjects or topics that you can get from online resources. Number of siblings, you can survey your classmate or your level mate. Favorite subject, brand or handphone, data usage per day, or time spent on handphone per day, time spent on internet per day. So these are all possible topics that you can pick. So after gathering your data, you are supposed to organize them into a frequency table. So what is a frequency table? I will show you two examples. So the first example is mobile operator. You have the list of mobile operator, maybe there are more. Then you have the number of students that are using the respective mobile operator so you have one column of mobile operator and next column of number this will give you a sense of each mobile operator how many students are using or the covid cases this one is the day or maybe change it to date then the cases each day. 8 of May, there's 7, 9 of May, there's 10. So this is a frequency table. Or these are two examples of frequency table. You are advised 
to use Excel to key in the data. So after you are done with your data collection and organize your data in a frequency table, the next thing you need to do is to represent them as either a pictogram, bar chart, pie chart, and line graphs. Choose two of them to represent your data. Now, you might ask, what are those? Those are the topic that you will learn in the last chapter of your 1B textbook. But because they are fairly easy and June holiday is a good time to collect some data, so we would like you to explore on the topic in advance. And of course, all of this can be done using Microsoft Excel. So coming up with those statistic diagram is fairly simple. All we have to do is go under insert. Then let's say you want a bar chart. Select all the data and just boom, bar chart. Number operators. Our handphone operators, mobile operators used by student. Yeah, so this one bar chart fairly simple. If you want a pie chart, look at the diagram down here. Which one do you think is a pie chart? Of course, it's the one that looks like a pie lot. So you can change it to a pie chart. If you want to represent it using a pie chart or a bar graph, I think they are okay. Now, pictogram is slightly more difficult, but they are actually nicer. So how do I do a pictogram? Pictogram is actually a glorified bar chart. Okay, so I will change it into like this. Then select one data and format the data point. So let me see whether I can move this. Okay, now. So let me select this. Instead of filling it up automatically, you will want to choose pictogram, pictures. Now, you still don't have any picture right here. So what you need to do is to insert picture. Yeah, probably you want to search online. What is the brand? Uh, TPG. So let's type TPG. Ah, you can have TPG here. Oops. So try to only select one because just now everything was selected. I need to redo. Control Z to redo. Insert online picture TPG. Okay. So now one have changed, but for pictogram, you will probably want to or want them to be um have one unit is to one picture, or you can have two unit is to one picture. If you have two unit is to one picture, you will see one and a half because this one is three. So let's just stick with. One unit, one picture. I think that's good. Now, we can insert Saha picture, but you see, uh, the problem is if you type Starhub, Bing doesn't give a like star cone or starfish. So you are better off. Because it's quite disgusting if you have so many. I would rather just have the logo. So what you can do is you go online and find a StarHub photo, then crop it. Then you can insert it from your file. How about M1? Can we find some nice M1 photo or not? M1. Nope. It's all done. Okay, never mind. Let's just choose this. 
Centel. Does it have Singtel logo? Uh, no, you don't have. So you probably need to go and find and crop it out yourself. Uh, this look more like Starhub, but in mind. So go and find a logo, then crop it up instead of me just lazily searching online. Okay, my recommendation is for you to uh, go and crop out the picture. So this is a pictogram. One thing is, line graph right it might not be the most suitable for this type of data because let's put it as a line graph singtel m1 starhub and uh, tpg it's like oh going down so what it doesn't have a lot of value to it so line graph right is quite specific for this type of data that is categorical you can sort of get away with bar chart pictogram or pie chart but for line graph you will probably want to use data that is like this this data actually makes sense when you arrange them in chronological order that means data that actually occurs one after another it actually makes sense to use line graph because for mobile operators, I can switch the Singtel and the M1 around. And the result will still be the same. Of course, the data is a bit screwed up, but you get my point. It doesn't matter which one is on top, which one is below. The end result is still uh, the same. While well, compared to COVID statistic, it actually makes sense if we choose line graph. You can either choose this one or you can choose this one. And what is it? Yeah, this one. You can see that both graph give you roughly the same result. Yeah, both graph give the same result in this case at least so let's just look at this so the one that I use is this scatter with marker so this actually makes a lot of sense you can see that from 8th of May to 21st of May. Now I need to do something to the axis. Um, actually, this one I can't really do much. Can I? Format axis. Okay, let me just change to one. See whether it's okay or not. Yeah. Okay, now uh, here it makes sense. Okay, so uh, cases of COVID cases in Singapore. This one is the spread in the community, by the way. It's, it, it doesn't include the imported cases. So you can see that from the line graph, it can tell me that the cases are increasing. So I can actually have some best fit line like this and it tells me that the cases are on the rise. That's why you are learning online right now because you can see from the start of the month until this few weeks, the case have been rising. The trend have been increasing and increasing. So this one I would say is very interesting. You can go and explore this during the holiday you collect the data once a day then you plot it down in the line graph so this is uh, something that's very interesting for you to do and hopefully by the end of june the graph will be going down like that yeah 
So that is a short introduction to doing statistic using Excel. Then after you collect all your data, interpret your data, see which one is the favorite burger mobile operator, which one is the favorite day of the week for people to get infected with COVID or get diagnosed with COVID, up to you. And because you selected two representation of the data that you have collected, you can justify your choice why you use line graph or why you use pie chart, maybe because you are hungry, why you use pictogram, maybe because you are a visual animal, you like picture a lot. So you can give reason to justify your choice, which form of statistic diagram is better. From the two statistic diagram that you choose, which one is better? Finally, you are supposed to do a simple presentation on Google Slide. The Google Slide you are supposed to park in the holiday folder by the end of term three, week one. You can copy and paste your data from Excel into the Google Slide and we will see whether you need to do a presentation. So that's all for the holiday assignment. Please go contact your group mate and decide what to do. Any question you can ask, I guess, in the YouTube comment section below. See you.